Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Possible Earth-directed CME A magnetic filament in the sun's southern hemisphere erupted on July 11 and hurled a CME into space. It appears to be a lopsided full halo CME with an Earth-directed component. NOAA is analyzing the CME now. A big new sunspot, AR3372, is emerging over the sun's northeastern limb, and it is crackling with solar flares, 4M class thus far. The strongest, an M6 class explosion on July 11, 6, 8 p.m. Coordinated Universal Time, saturated pixels in the telescope system on board NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. Sunspot region 3363 is directly Earth-facing today with a 30% chance of AC flare, 5% chance of AM flare, and a 1% chance of producing an X flare today. Here it is observed, using the SDO-1700 filter. This sunspot is so huge, Earth would fit in it easily. Sunspots appear within active regions, usually in pairs of opposite magnetic polarity. The halo CME that erupted on the 11th, as seen through the SOHO C2 filter. Now a look at the same CME observed on the SOHO satellite LASCO C3 filter, as it expands out through space. To get a better look at this CME, the difference filter is added. This solar flare classification chart documenting the last 24 hours, shows all the M-class flares that have occurred thus far. On this CME model the direction of the CME that erupted on the 11th, is mapped. On the 14th this CME should impact Earth, sparking geomagnetic storms. This pressure model shows the solar wind pressure for today, and it is measuring in the higher range at this time frame. Notice also that the wind pressure is coming in waves. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waning crescent face. Illumination, 25%. 19 days, 20 hours till the next full moon. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.